I don't know about you, but reoccurring issues in my life have always been my weight and my money. And we are talking about both these things this morning. We're talking about money right now. So whether you are at the point of thinking retirement or not, there are some numbers you can crunch to indicate if you'll have a nest when that time arrives. And you'll also want to steer clear of the roadblocks that can exist as you're making those plans. And that is where certified financial planner Ted Snow comes in. Ted, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having Okay, me. so we've talked about this stuff before, but I think it always deserves a little bit more attention. Um, yeah. Is how do we even start the process? Yeah. Well, last time we talked about the how how to become successful and stay successful by doing the the full financial planning and looking at your estate, looking at your investments, looking at your insurance, looking at the coordination of all of those things. But you know, there when we're starting to look at retirement and and how we are coordinating that piece only, we have to look at some of the things that can really get in the way, like inflation. What does that mean to our portfolio? What does that mean to our standard of living? Inflation can have a profound effect on what we do and how we invest our money. So inflation is one of the roadblocks, really. Yeah. Uh, what are some others? Well, I think starting too, too late in life, um, people tend to put yeah. their savings on hold for raising kids or, you know, living for the day, but they yeah. tend to put it on hold and they don't get enough in, and then it's then they have to start pulling a lot of money out of their, their budget to start filling it up, and it just doesn't happen as fast as they so need to. So let me, can we pause there for a second, and, and let's talk about that one. So if you are um, older, you're not in your 20s, which is yeah. when you should probably start saving, um, how do you, is there is there a, um, some sort of equation that you use to come up with how much money you should be putting back every month to go ahead and fund your retirement? Yeah, and that's, that's where a certified financial planner can really help with that, in that uh, we look at how much you need in retirement, how much you have currently, and how much you have to put away to get there to meet your goals, taking in these assumptions of inflation and other uh, factors in your life. Yeah. So do you also agree with the, with the philosophy, pay yourself first? Absolutely. I mean, you, you got to do that. Um, I'm a proponent of, you know, uh, being generous with our money, but mm -hmm. also being able to have some of it for our future use, not just our immediate use. Right. Yeah. What is the, the rule of 72? We were talking about that earlier. Well, the rule of 72 is um, a way that it's a very general rule of thumb that if you take this 72, divide it by your assumed rate of return on your investments, divide that out, and the result is how many years, theoretically, it would take for your money to double. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at that equation. I'm trying to do it in my head. I'm going, I'm so screwed. <laughs> but, you know, I think a lot of people are looking at that and maybe thinking the same thing. So as a financial planner, what do you tell your clients who come to you and go, wow, I'm way behind on this? Yep. Do you give them like the serious smackdown and say, you need to rein in your spending? You need to... You got to. Yeah. I mean, there's just no other way around it unless you want to take a substantial decrease in your standard of living, which I don't want any of my clients to have happen to right. them. Um, people start, uh, they, they just invest too little if they are investing. Um, so, you know, they might uh, start in a 401k, but they're only putting one or two or three percent away, which is not even getting the full ma maximum match that the co company might give them, which is free money. Uh, they just do it in small baby steps, yeah. but the earlier you start, the better because um, you have the time on your side to have that compounding effect help you. And that's where you come in too because you're able to show someone like me, okay, these are the things that you should be investing in. Maybe because you're going to get a higher rate of return on your money with these and you need, you've got a lot of catch up you need to be doing. Right. But those are sometimes riskier. Um, is, is that okay when you're older? Is it okay to, to make a riskier investment with your money hoping for a larger return? Yeah. You know, here's, here's what I talk to my clients about. And, they, and uh, if they want to become what they call safe, safe is not always safe. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at safe and the effects of inflation on safe, you actually may lose money or purchasing power in that process. So we have to have investments that will keep ahead of inflation to keep our money growing so that we can have the, the standard of living that we want. So safe isn't always safe. The things that we think are aggressive and not safe are the things that are actually going to produce the safety for us when we get to retirement. And everything changes with every step of your life. Yeah. The way that you handle it is going to be different. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. You always give me something good to think about. And 
and now I need to act on all of it, right? <laughs> right, let's do it. <laughs> You're like, why haven't you been in my office yet? Um, if you would like more information, you can check out his website at snowfinancialgroup.com. You can also call him at 469-522-4056. I am going to call first and get my appointment first. So <laughs> we are back with more broadcast in a moment. First,